We're going to King's Dominion for the Fright Fest. Do a little, little spooky stuff this whole weekend. We got the Fright Fest tonight, and then we've got the Haunted Wine Tour tomorrow, which I'm concerned with because if you're drinking a nice Cabernet, a nice uh, Malbec, and someone jumps and scares me, I'm gonna be pissed off because I'm gonna have it all over my shirt. So I'm confused at how this is gonna work. But that's what we're doing, that's where we're going. We got two different hotels, it's a whole extravaganza kind of a weekend. It's lit, let's go. <laughs> I respect that this hotel does have its own Keurig. Not a lot of them give a, the option of a Keurig. Oh no, I turned it on. Oh God, stop. But they don't have dark roast and they also don't have Pete's. That's the coffee that I drink. No Pete's. But there's a microwave, which is what I'm gonna use for my ramen noodles. We're here and now we're just in the parking lot figuring out how to take these here shot skis. This is the new <laughs> hey, there it is. Goddamn makeup tutorials got it down. The new Jack Apple, which is pretty cool, is actually way better than uh, Apple Jim Beam. It's more of a uh, less sweet apple and uh, more just better, not syrupy. Mm, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me. This is a condemned uh, hotel or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. We're going in. Do you know I Photography of any kind is strictly prohibited. In committee, do not respond to the clock. Alright, like a crazy fool, I decided to uh, spend $32 on two beverages, but that's fine. This is the Witch's Brew. She got the, uh, what's yours called? Something Punch. Something Punch. Uh, Witch's Punch. Witch, Witch's Punch. This is Witch's Brew. Hers is probably Wicked Punch. It's lit, though. Look. You know what I'm saying? It's lit. Are you weird? Are they here? Yeah. So we're in the Cleaver scare zone, and I feel like I'm about to get scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm freaking out, freaking out. It's not a real person, but I'm freaking out, all right? They just come out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go. Whew. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's so late. Ah! See what I'm saying? <laughs> You never know! I'm freaking out, dog! I better not drop my phone. Hold on. This guy looks like my boy Jerome. Hold on. You guys don't understand how scared I am. I think he's gonna touch me. Alright, we're out. I don't fuck with mannequins. Mannequins freak me out. Alright, we're going into the fog. Alright! <laughs> Doing a coffee review, a hotel coffee review. I gotta give it to them that they have a Keurig. 
in here because a lot of the places have that uh, the coffee pot where you just put the little uh, little pad of coffee in there and it all sucks because it's weird brand including this one this is Diedrich morning edition blend why can't you guys just put a dark roast in your hotels just a dark roast just one you know no one's gonna drink it but me so you're gonna save money but as for this it's real whatever this is that kind of coffee that you get from uh, like big lots or Ollie's or the dollar store it's just sad but it's alright we're gonna find out see what if the the Hyatt can do better with their coffee who knows random review I don't know now we're off to the next part of this state to go and do wine things what area is that in Centerville. Centerville, Virginia for the wine haunted fest first we're going to get donuts oh yeah we're gonna go to Sugar Shack to get some donuts and, some and then we're gonna go to Pearlie's Delicatessen in Richmond to get some I'm gonna get a Reuben she's gonna get a pastrami sandwich they looked really good on Yelp here's a review coming here right now <sighs> no one said that this deli place had to be in a dang city and try and parallel park a Ram 1500 in a city that so was actually really easy because I'm a pro <laughs> now we gotta walk a little further but who cares we're, we're going one aspect of Pearlie's uh, Reuben, I haven't even had it yet. We're, we're walking up to it now, but one aspect that's going to beat Cat's Deli in New York is the fact that this Reuben is $13 and the, the Reuben at Cat's Deli is $24. Now, it could be because it's just a famous name, Cat's Deli, or it could just be worth that much, which is what I said in my last video. This could be worth only $13. We're going to find out though. This is the Reuben. We're trying her out right near. Let's see. So it's not as good as Catskill. But we assume that because this is $11 cheaper. But it is delicious. I'll give them that. And the sauce is really good. And so is the uh, sauerkraut. Real good. Fries, dill garlic fries. Way better than cats. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's all I gotta say. That's a wild sandwich. Super soft donuts. These are too good. Sugar Shack. Anytime we've gotten Sugar Shack, it's always been me. They're doing it. Maybe because it's early and every other time we go real late. Doesn't make any sense to go get donuts at 6 p.m. Donuts. Lit. That one was espresso. Then we got a mud pot. A macchiato. Yeah. Yeah, caramel macchiato. Caramel pretzel chocolate thing. S'more. <laughs> Bacon maple donut. <laughs> bacon maple donut? Yeah, okay, maple bacon, <laughs> alright? It's good. We made it to Bull Run Farms winery place for the haunted wine tour. We're gonna find out if it's spooky or worth it or anything. I don't even know. I hear it's a big deal. We're gonna drink some wine and Hopefully, get scared and not spill the wine. Also, Ram. It's Ram. 
Back to the spookiness. So we're here. We even got ourselves a nice little glass of white wine. Check-ins not for another, uh, I don't know, a yeah, couple minutes or so, 15 minutes. Uh, I've been seeing some spooky people walking around here. You know, I mean? you know what I mean? A bunch of old looking people, ghosts if you will. It's very nice though. On to the scary times. Scariness. Haunted wine tour. Can we get the coolest videos? No, I already have a wine right. glass, but he doesn't. Okay, do we, we'll give you another one. Oh, oh all right, cool. Your first wine's already poured. I can take your dirty glass. Thank you. Oh my god. Is That's not even part of the tour. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is our Viognier. It's our driest white wine. Okay. Just make sure to leave a glow stick on your glass. That way, when you get to the next tastings, the pourer can see your glass. Oh, okay. Ooh. So awesome. we'll get started here, like right at nine o'clock. And all you'll right. get another pouring right after we start. Sweet. So go ahead and enjoy this one now. All right. <laughs> awesome. In July of 1861, in August of 1862, Union and Confederate soldiers fought the first and second battles of Bull Run. Random pieces of paper filled with random words. Some staffers have reported walking into an empty room to the sight and smell of cigar smoke. There have even been stories of filled glasses of wine suddenly being That's emptied. <laughs> but the Civil War was fought in our own backyard. Homes were destroyed. What happens? that laugh is lost, if that heart stops beating, if a lost life can become a ghost, is it true then that a lost home can become a ghost house? Yet I was neglected by surgeons as a hopeless case, and thus placed outside to die, where two agonizing days later I passed. I was buried in a shallow grave, but only to have that grave desecrated by angry southern soldiers. They removed my body, decapitated me, and burned the rest of my body, dare I say, to ashes, as I alluded to in my letter, so that my bones could be scavenged as war trophies. Human bone rings to be worn gleefully by other members of the human race. It is a wonder how evil walks so confidently through this world. But they say you can still smell my burning, rotting flesh to this very day. Do you sense it? It rides this wind. Sometimes we we'll see soldiers huddle around campfires, look back for a second look, watch them flicker out of existence. They're made not but a flame themselves. Occasionally, you'll see ghosts in gray, spirits whose toes torn asunder here at the two battles at Manassas. Wandering through the hills, walking right up, passing through these fences that were made of nothing but mist. Kicking up dirt, leaves, and then substantials of cold wind on a cloudy night. The soldiers weren't the only ones to die here. In the first battle, a young drum boy caught some shrapnel the side of the neck. Lied blood out before the nurses could even reach his body. Most evenings, right around sunset, you can still hear his drums off in the distance. The Battlefields of Bull Run hold many secrets. For example, if you go and dig in the soil around here, then every now and again you will find bones. Mostly animal, but not always. For example, there was a group of people who came out to dig a well. As they were digging, they came across a human hand sticking out of the earth as if to grab them. They continued to dig and found another hand and another, and then a foot. These amputation pits. At the Haunted Wine Tour at Bull Run Winery was pretty awesome. It wasn't anything like The Haunt at King's Dominion, which I've been calling it Fright Fest this whole video because I'm an idiot, but it was called The Haunt at King's Dominion. Everybody knows that. You know what that's about, getting scared, people jumping out, freaking you out, cool. This was not like that. This was like, you went around to different spots throughout the actual winery and they tell you scary stories like in the videos that I showed you and they were all true stories uh, from the Civil War so it was pretty cool and then you had a lady walk around uh, pouring you wine at every stop almost so much wine that you had to like chug it because she's about to pour, 
pour more for you. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion. It was a good time. It was worth it. Um, I'd like to do it again. It was, it was it was pretty sick. There were some annoying people that wouldn't shut up, but whatever. It was a fun time. And uh, now we're back. It's Halloween and sick. But I would definitely recommend the winery, the haunted wine tour at Bull Run Winery to anybody that is, uh, you know, you want to do a little something spooky and you don't want to get jumped. You want somebody jumping at you. But yeah, that's the video. Um, I haven't done a vlog type deal in a while. So I just figured, hey, you know, we're doing all these things. I may as well throw in a vlog. Who knows? Regular videos coming back after this. I might keep doing these things. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe, of course. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Have a happy Halloween.